this program is a program that we hope that more students would have the opportunity to participate in. Um, what we know from research is that um, kids today have uh, there's more of a chance that we're pushing them out of school as opposed to working with them. If we could grow this program, I think that we would see less suspensions, out of school suspensions, expulsions, and certainly um, the, the pipeline of prison. We can certainly lessen that if we could provide them with some of these uh, great opportunities. Hi, my name is Eunice Akine and I'm in eighth grade. Hi, my name is Serenity Phillips and I'm in eighth grade. Hi, my name is Kimani Carpenter. I'm in the eighth grade. Hi, my name is Clarence Steele. I'm going to eighth grade. My name is Darius McDaniel, and I'm going to the eighth grade. My name is Riley Jade Floyd Birch, and I'm going into eighth grade. My name is Diamond Jackson. I'm in eighth grade. We go on different trips like Camp Joy. I was afraid of heights, so I could never go somewhere tall like the top of a ladder. So when I did that walk and I reached the top, that just made me out of my comfort zone to do, do it again. One thing I learned at Camp Joy is to not be afraid of anything because the climbing wall, I really didn't want to do it at first. But then all of my group members and everybody in the Camp Joy group, they encouraged me to go up the wall more. Camp Joy, we did how to work together and then we went on the um, more head. That was about our future goals, going to college, um, staying in school, education is important. I always wanted to go to college, but I never knew where. I never had an upfront life tour of college. It would be different for me, so I would be scared. I would be, okay, I'm a girl of color. I can't go nowhere with other people. But then I seen people who look like me, and they were telling me their stories, and I was like, I can do this. My outlook on college, if I wouldn't have done this program, would be really different because um, I would have just been seeing videos on YouTube talking about college instead of actually going there, seeing how they, seeing how they treat, treat me myself and um, seeing what they look like in person. One of the first things we notice is that the students said that they were afraid of the police based upon what they've seen in the media and the interactions that they themselves have had or family members had. And so the interactions with the police officers that came to our classroom was just amazing because it gave the students an opportunity to see that police officers are, are just everyday people and at the end of the day that they want to help. When the police officers came in, I learned a lot from them that Every police officer is not bad. Learn that all police is not bad ones. Police aren't all that bad. We used to see them because we're African American. We think that they're going to come straight for us, but we got to think before we act because it's our actions that make them come after us, not what we, you know, think. I've learned like better communication and I've learned to team building and I've also got to know other people that are from different schools and that I normally wouldn't talk to at school. I just feel like just being in that program has helped me look at life in a different perspective instead of my own perspective. It helps me grow my uh, wisdom and the things that I can learn and I think mostly just mostly being in that program has helped me think about college and what I wanted my future plans to be and who I want to be. My experience with um, Mr. Honor's future ambassadors program it was great. My future amb ambassadors experience is very like inspirational. Say focus on school and sports and always be a leader towards the little kids. If it wasn't for Mr. Hunter, I wouldn't be, my grades would be slipping right now. Thank you for taking your time to help us, show us, and make sure we got what we going on, making us accomplish our goals, and not letting other people get to our head. Well, Mr. Hunter is always about education. He taught us that education was always important. So when he brought in all the speakers and he took us to all the field trips, it helped me in our, my journey through life a lot. The words that Mr. Hunter says to us, I never heard before, and no one ever told me the speeches that he gave us and it just make me believe in myself even more. One of the most profound things that they talk about, instead of, we normally say, well, this person is a role model, so now they, they've changed that paradigm, and they talk about, so I'm looking for a real model, right? Somebody who models everyday living, how to be better. Like, even if I have a setback, like, that's okay. How do I grow from that opportunity?